Here's how you can easily add a GIF or two onto your next video with Clipchamp. Start by heading over to clipchamp.com and then log in or create your free account. I've put the link in the description below. Once logged in, you'll be taken to the homepage where you'll click on the create a new video button. Then you'll be taken straight into the editor. The first thing you'll need to do is import the asset that you want to add a GIF onto. By heading over to the import media button, selecting the asset and hitting open. It will load into your media library over here. Now add your video into the timeline by dragging and dropping it in just like this. Next, to add a GIF onto your video, navigate over to the toolbar and click into the content library. Then select the drop down arrow of the visuals tab. Now click into Giphy and here you can search through the Giphy library by either using keywords up here in the search bar to search for something specific or you can just click into the Giphy or stickers by Giphy collections. Once inside the collection, you can either scroll through as it is or search for something specific in the search bar, for example, superhero. Then just hover over each of the GIFs for a bit of a preview. And then when you found the one that you want to use, simply drag and drop it into the timeline on top of your video asset. In this case, I'll go ahead and add in a few more as I wanted about three in the video. You'll see in the preview up here that they are all stacked on top of each other, but we'll be fixing this and adjusting their look in part four. Now, if you're adding in multiple GIFs, make sure to place them one on top of the other to ensure they show at the same time in your video. If you'd like them to appear at different parts of the video, click on the asset in your timeline and it will highlight in green so you know which one is selected. Then just drag it across the timeline to the part of the video you want it to appear, just like this. But in this case, I want all of the GIFs to show at the same time, so I'll just undo that and pop them back into place. Lastly, you can see the GIFs are not matching the total length of the video we added in. So to ensure they show for the entire duration, drag your cursor over all of the GIFs. They'll all highlight in green so that you know they're all selected. Then drag the ends across until it meets the end of the video like this. Now all of your GIFs will match the total video length. Next, you can edit the size and location of your GIFs by clicking on the GIF in your timeline. Again, it will highlight in green so you know which one you've selected. Then reposition it anywhere on the stage by using the freehand tool to move it around anywhere you'd like on the screen. Then to resize the asset, just drag the corners left or right until you're happy. When you are happy with the size and placement, go ahead and do the same for the other GIFs too. And it's as simple as that. Once you're completely happy with your video, you can go ahead and export it by heading to the export button, selecting your video quality, and once the export is complete, hit save to your computer and it will download straight to your device, all ready for you to share. And that's how to add a GIF to your video with Clipchamp. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how-to videos.